Fifteen-year-old Stephen Ross was so badly injured by the IRA bomb, he now needs a steel cage to keep the bones of his face together. It was the nursing care and skill of the surgeons that saved his life. What do you think about it now, looking back on it? Well, I think the dastardly thing if I already do, I've got no respect for life at all. I don't know how anyone could do such a thing. Like, it's just preposterous to be sick of doing such a thing. It's terrible all those people I knew or killed, knew very well. We're standing nearby, they're only standing five metres away from me, which they were killed. But two days after leaving okay, intensive care, he's been mending fast enough to take a healthy interest in his surroundings. I hear you're getting on particularly well with some of the nurses here. Oh, I'd rather not talk about that. There's some rumours going around. <laughs> <laughs> and today, his fellow pupils at Inniskillen High School film some messages for him. Hi, Stephen. I hope you're OK. And don't you be running after those nurses or I'll get jealous. We still have a guy with the technique. Hi, Stephen. It's Robert here. Just say hello. And so we're missing you, missing you down by the banks, the river. Miss Lappin's still making all her geography class work hard, even though I'm not in it. Robert! <laughs> and Stephen had a message for all his school friends. I just thank them for their encouragement. It was well, well, well received and all the seeing them when they back to school. David Chater, ITN in Londonderry.